what's up fellow lords of gaming and welcome back to another episode of marvel future revolution today is an interesting day and an interesting video i promise you i am going to release another doctor strange build video mostly focusing on illusion but for the morning i would like to give you guys this uh apparently we got a server merge notification uh greetings agents this is marvel future revolution team and order to provide our agents with a more pleasant marvel future revolution gaming environment we're going to merge select servers so without reading this through and telling you you know which servers are going to be merged into where it's just easier to explain to you that basically on each server you if you had like sakar one through four where there was like sakar one sakar two sakar three sakar four all of those would be basically being paired down into one server now how this affects you is mostly going to be in terms of squad names and inactive accounts and so forth like that meaning that anybody who basically has a duplicate squad name from uh, compared to another person from another server and so forth it's going to be first in first out somewhat so this is going to probably be you know represent an inconvenience to players overall um at most but i expect that you know they'll handle it well and they'll take care of everything in the proper names that's what you're looking at right here duplicate squad names they're going to provide uh further details individually messaged so you, you basically get that duplicate alliance names as well is going to have to be renamed and so forth um squads and everything else like that the big thing that they also went into here was about currency and ranking and reward distributions basically uh all of the information that was held by the character squads and stuff like that the content and everything will be held onto the only difference that is going in with this is um your chat is going to be unretained your records for weekly rankings and stuff like that is going to be reset the clear rewards and things like that will be reset so basically your weekly re weekly stuff none of that's going to be retained there's going to be two basically weekly reward rankings for that week when it does happen in december so it's not quite a bit the main reason why i wanted to talk to you guys about this this morning is because it's interesting right that the servers are now merging literally what are we four months into the game august i mean july august september october and yeah so we're about five months in so six months into the game we're literally already looking at server mergers and here goes the interesting piece about this is i found it interesting because yesterday i brought king onto my stream and we were having some great conversations with the uh with my community and we were talking about um the game and the game state where it is and here goes the thing i want players to understand is that this is all about retention and player numbers right now it's hard for people on some servers to get paired up and matched with other players because there's not enough players on the servers that says a lot and it, it's specifically wolver thor if you haven't been over to his channel go check it out he did a video recently um in cynic cynic alex style fashion in my uh, my opinion uh where he revealed uh net marbles quarterly earning reports and the 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 odd thing is is that marvel future revolution i don't think it placed as high as they probably had hoped in its first uh quarter earnings meaning that the game was in on par with you know marvel future fight in terms of earnings and marvel future fight is a six-year-old game so looking at a six-year-old seven-year-old game where you've got a basically brand new title i think they were probably expecting some numbers more closely to seven ds's initial launch launch release i think the problem with this is that was the expectation and they literally priced the game with those expectations i think that a lot of people like uh, typically on a daily day-to-day -day basis I, I go and check my friends list probably every you know two to three days and i've noticed that there has been a trend in me having to delete about five players per you know per check and that's some you know high standing squad rank people some low standing squad rank people um and i've noticed that there's even in the alliances in terms of people showing up to participate there seems to be quite an issue like even in the top alliances x-force and sigma we i think you know most alliance get get along pretty well but you don't see the actual numbers that you used to see for the game uh upon its first launch right now i 100 percent believe that the problem with marvel future revolution lies in its pay to win structure it's something that needs to be changed basically i brought this up on stream uh yesterday when you look at marvel future revolution and as a new player for instance right i want you guys to understand this that as a new player you jump in the game and if you were to you know you're greeted by the game with everything that's going on and the first things that you see are offers that are you know 
um they're meagerly priced in terms of like 399 for costumes and stuff like that it's pretty pretty decent but the problem is is that you then hit the cash shop for instance and some of the first offers you see as a player are literally you know the first thing players are going to go look for is costumes and you go inside that costume shop and you're going to see fifty dollars for a costume and then you're going to look over here and you're going to see fifty dollars fifty dollars fifty dollars fifty dollars twenty seven dollars and these things are way overpriced there's no value to ratio in this game for what you're playing it's even more noticeable inside the cash shop where basically eighteen hundred crystals is nearly double the price in us dollars the game is just well overpriced for its market you know what i mean in terms of it's a mobile phone game and what you're getting should be uh, should help continue the dopamine in terms of while you threw these prices at me fifty dollars for three thousand crystals basically that's a 75 percent. that means each crystal is worth nearly two three dollars it's astounding right so there's a high currency value here and a lot of things are in the shop to be sold whereas opposed to if you had lower numbers and players were just to get that low dopamine fix you know get that dopamine fix by just you know making multiple purchases over the course of a week because if i see 399 399 399 399 i'm more likely to just press on that button really quickly than i am if i was to see 50 dollars and then i go into a game mode game where i'm playing with players who are literally way overpowered to power for me so like i think that this server merge is going to have a twofold effect on the game one is that there are quite a few people who have wailed out in this game especially if you were to go per se and just look at some of the rankings inside the game like if you were to look at the elite rankings for characters inside here and you looked at some of the power levels they don't seem like they're necessarily that hard to get to right because you're like oh yeah i can make it especially on some of you guys' servers where you did didn't have the the head start launch that some of the players had but you go on side like some of the other ones and you think about the servers being merged now and basically the people that are going to get paired up and this is the problem with matchmaking um, and I've said this from the beginning is that along with the pay to win mechanics of the game and the pricing inside the cash shop you then have the problem with the matchmaking players are immediately thrown in to the deep end of the water so for instance like the first time you get introduced to dimension duels you could jump inside a dimension duel match and literally be paired up against somebody like Hafsen. you could literally jump into dimension duels at level 70 i believe it is and get paired up with somebody like uh yags netmarble broke ds dick it's insanely ridiculous notion that when you look at it as a player from the step back from where you currently are in the game and place yourself as a complete noob who's coming to the game or like a kid between the ages of 10 to 15 16 years old and a young adult who's still in college or something like that and think about it from this perspective right i jump inside the game and the first thing i encounter is literally the god of the game at level 70 and then i think how can i catch up to this dude and then you look at the means in which you have available to catch up to the dude and you go oh it's all cash shop and the first things that you see inside the cash shop are these whale of prices 50 dollars for costumes you know that's one of the aspects of playing any marvel game especially titles like that is costumes you want to be able to feel like you know costumes are going to be worth it to you i think there's going to need to be some drastic changes with um with the way the game is being priced towards players um i think marvel future fight games like marvel future fight games like marvel uh contest of champions they've kind of figured out that you know offering players rewards to continue to play will probably generate more earnings for the company in terms of the game being continually played because one of the things that you have to understand is that having a player drop ten thousand dollars on a game one time versus have a hundred thousand players drop a thousand dollars on a game is not as valuable 
And the worst part is that if I go to the Google Play Store and look at the game and think, hey, you know what? Uh, player retention numbers and concurrent users are the weight of the game. I think we were down to as low as 2,000 players on the Omega Flight server at one point. It's really, you know, disheartening. And I hope that the game writes a ship. Now, I don't want to be, I don't want to end this video by looking like I'm one of the doomsayers, right? The game's not going anywhere. They're not going to give up on this game. The game is backed by Marvel Games and and it's Disney's partnership and the game will help with you know marketing for other Marvel properties whether they're comics comic events whether they're uh, movies and so well, television shows and so forth if you watch Disney's D1 uh, what you call it where they announced uh, a bunch of the streaming videos uh, stream videos coming to movies like Moon Knight uh, She-Hulk and the likes you know that the game is literally going to be marketed towards players in a way to benefit to you know benefit those things as well so don't be a, don't don't worry about whether the game is going anywhere or not i'll stick with what i was saying to you guys before try to enjoy the game from the experience as much as possible from a free-to-play experience if you can and you know spend on what you can spend use your pocket purse strings the way you can but overall i don't think the server merger is going to represent anything bad it's just one of those things that's happening did the servers need to be managed the way they were being managed now i don't know because i can't see a lot of the back-end processes to see how much resources are actually being required by one account being logged in and what the server capacities are that they had so anybody talking about what you know those specifics without knowing that data the data uh you know capabilities and those the servers literally they're speaking from their asses they don't really know um i don't know why we had to have all of these servers because eventually if you looked at like seven deadly sins you looked at you know marvel future fight you look at a lot of games and there's just one global server a lot of times you're either just on global server and you're on you know jp or korean server and that's it so it, it, it'll be interesting to see how these servers pare down obviously one of the motivations for this could be that they're just not those resources for those amount of servers are just not needed uh and that's due to game population i think if they change some of the cash shop stuff that would change immensely um but uh, we'll end that off with there today. I, I will promise to get up a dark uh, Doctor Strange video for an illusion magic build. I'm still working on getting my cooldown levels popped to max. And until next time, guys, peace.